Hey, back at you again. This is Antonio, also known as Tonezilla, the Media Monster. And I got a mega haul for, for you today. Well, it's not a mega haul. I see those guys who do thrifting where they get 3,000, 100, 100, 200 CDs at one time. But they don't really check them. They just get them to sell. I'm getting them to collect. And check out the Transformer hat. All right, let's get into it. As always, let's start with the uh, DVDs. Curse of the Golden Flower. This is following the uh, fad of Crouching Tiger, uh, the uh, Dagger, all, all those ones. Um, you know, this is a beautiful movie. I mean, the first... Man, they got some beautiful scenes in here, but not much action. Um, Mint Condition. This was a blockbuster movie. <laughs> then we got here, Just Cause. This is an excellent thriller. Excellent th thriller. And on here, he's known as Lawrence Fitzberg. Before, he was known as like Larry in like older movies like um um uh boys in the hood he was known as larry fishburn similar jackson in this 1408 i had i have saw this already and had owned it at one time excellent i don't know yeah i would call this horror um it's not real gory and stuff like that it's more like a psychological thr thriller now this here I'm getting better at with these multi packs and how they're supposed to come. Now, who did this? For some reason, this must be person just been a new age person because they left uh, Karate Kid one, two, and three in there, and then they um, took out number uh, four. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, they took out one of these. Yeah, this this is a the one with Jalen Smith, Jaden. Um, so they took one, two, three, left those in there. One, two, three, and they took this this one. <laughs> hey, that's a new age kid. I mean, I know it got Jackie Chan in it, but and if you don't know, these um come stacked in here. So that's Karate Kid one, and then underneath you'll have a uh, Karate Kid two. And so on, so so they just take the one with Jaden Smith. But I'm not, I don't care much about that. Uh, I don't have no emotional connection to uh, the Karate Kid with uh, Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. <laughs> this is a great one here. It's uh, Samuel Samuel Hung Spooky Encounters, and this has been Disney remastered. So this is like a one of those things you would get on VHS, and this go out crazy about but they remastered them so um i did get a, v a vcr two of them for ten dollars i tested one just about half an hour ago works great the other one is the same brand um i haven't tested it yet um so that way i'll be able to do boots so you got shanghai noon you know like i said i'll be getting most of the a lot of the Jackie Chan movies. Now this one here is a Jet Li uh, pack, and this <laughs> this one was tore up. But I'm gonna put it in a different case. I mean, this thing is. Ugh. I remember ca getting cases like this for seasons back in the day. This is an old, old kind of case, and it says um, in here, "Born to be different." Shaolin Temple. Kids from Shaolin. Uh, kids, yeah. So, it's supposed to star Jet Li and all these, but only he looked like Jet Li on the front. But man, I don't know, man. This might be a uh, <laughs> a bootleg Jet Li. I haven't watched it yet. And I got this, the uh, Hannibal Lecter uh, two pack, and this got Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal. 
So I just need to get like Rising, I think, Hannibal Rising and Red Dragon. And then they got Manhunter, which is not part of that line, but um, everyone I catch is really bad, uh, scratched up. I got Wild Wild West with uh, Will Smith. I got the Snapper. You know, I love these. I just got a lot of group of sna Snappers from someone off uh, uh, Facebook uh, Market. And then we got uh, Coach Carter. Most people know about this. Good hearted movie. Great debaters. Now, I haven't saw this. I saw X, you know, like parts of this movie uh, online. I have to watch this all the way through. He get, he gives a great speech. And it resonates to the, now. And I did get this, Pulp Fiction. This is the... First thing I picked up when I was there, I went and got my blue. Always go go buy, always go through the Blu-rays first when I'm at the pawn shop. This is a pawn shop haul, um, as you know, uh, reading the title. And I always go get my Blu-ray first, then I go back and get my DVDs because the DVDs are only a dollar, but the Blu-rays are three. So I want to make sure I get an amount of Blu-rays I want first and it, all that. And then uh, I go overboard on these uh, singles. So it came with a I mean, it's pretty nice. Nice little thick booklet. Oh. And I always have a hard time closing this. They got this little tab there inside. Another snap. And these are in mint condition. This one's pretty... Uh, for a snapper case, this mug is beautiful. I guess because maybe people really didn't like Showtime. I never saw this, but I definitely want to watch it. Shawshank Redemption. And this is a uh, two disc special edition, 10th anniversary. Let's see what's going on in here. It has a two disc. This was a wild movie, and I don't know if you guys have saw the uh, new Stephen King uh, show that's on, um, what place is this called? Maybe it'll say it on here. I can't remember the name of the, uh, of the town. I don't know why I can't remember that. I never forget about that, uh, but the show on... On Hulu, based on on that town, first season is a little slow and low. It's a little psychotic. I mean, you can't tell what's going on. I mean, a lot of visions and this and that. But in season two, it kind of clears it up, and then you get the young lady from uh, Misery in there, and she's wacko boy. She don't play around. Um, identity. Great thriller. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, whoo, it shot me. I mean, this guy in here, uh, what's his name? Uh, I wish they would show his name. They don't show him on a, on a cover, and he's the, he makes the movie. The serial killer in this one makes the movie. Now, Secret Window, I, I have saw this. It was so long ago. I don't remember nothing about it, but I got it because it's dope pack. I mean, I'm paying like one buck for this, but I'm actually getting it pretty much for free. Some of these and then cleaner, you know, hey, sad, sad, hey, Sandra and Tanner. You got uh, Michelle, uh, what is her name? Lucy Lou, love her in elementary, so that was a must have. All right, off to the DVD Blu-rays. Now here we got um steel case of iRobot. This is a I like these steel cases. I might try to I will try to pick up all these that I can. Um, at the pawn shop they hard to come by, but when I see them I try to get them. Another Will Smith movie 
the concussion. The movie I'm trying to get with him is The Enemy of State. That movie was excellent. Um, where he's in Georgetown running all around Washington, D.C. Um, this concussion, I, this is about football and, you know, how much longer will you, um, will football be be done here? American football. Um, I don't know. I played football. I did tear my um, tore ligament, had roughing, rough, roughing of the cartilage, so they had to shave the cartilage and all that jazz. They had to do all these different exercises. That was doing football um, in high school. Um, then we have here four film favorites, uh, gritty thrillers. And you got in here, Unknown, uh, Edge of Darkness. I never saw these two, but these ones, this is the one I really wanted. Seven, I love this movie. I don't know what about it is. I just love this. Um, reminds you of Method Man. I'll sew your butthole up and keep feeding you it. Feed you, feed you. You know that, that fat guy he, he had in there. He was just feeding them. Damn. <laughs> um, I got this one because I have emotional connection to this movie. Uh, I remember uh, Cool Duder Sean. Uh, he said he he was scared of this monster. I was never scared of this monster as a kid. I don't know. And he watched more crazy horror movies than me. I w wouldn't touch. Half of the catalog of his scary movies that he watched, but he was scared of that little animal. Um, Brick uh, Mansions. This is um, of descent. This is uh, Paul Walker. I think this is his last movie. Um, and this is Parkour. This guy right here, um, man, he's amazing. He just does some amazing stuff. Um, we got Rizzo in here as a crime lord. Um, and if you never saw B13 and B13 Ultim Ultimatum or whatever it is, uh, it's part one and two of B13. That's where I was introduced to Parkour. It's a French um, form of getting around quick. Um, they were, by what I read about it, is uh, they taught their French soldiers to do that so they can get from one place to another real quick. So that guy is French, I, I believe. As well too, but now park cars all over the world, America, England, uh, England, France, of course France. Um, now, this is a nice Blu-ray pack here. I got my Friday because uh, I did find a Friday, but that one was tore up. Like then, um, so this is good. Uh, Minutes to Society, also excellent, and then set it off. If you don't like set, if you ain't never saw any of these movies, you need to go ahead and pick those up. Uh, I got the uh, Fate of the Furious. This is uh, F8, uh, Fast and Furious 8. Blade 2. Uh, everybody know about, but if you don't know about Blade, he was the, excuse me, when. Marvel wasn't doing too good. Like, well, I don't say what they weren't doing too good, but they didn't have really any movies out. And Pops uh, Blade, and that did excellent. Had three movie, I think three movies, and another movie wasn't without Wesley. Um, this here is the first Sherlock like Holmes. You know, I teeter around this getting this for a long time, and at the other pawn shop location, they have both of these. And I got this one, and they had like three copies of number part two, and they were messed up on Blu-ray. They were tore up. Uh, so I went back to the other location. I was like, it, it been there every time I went there. Both, like uh, another, the second part, at, um, but somebody had brought one and two at the other location. I shouldn't have picked it up then, um, but it is what it is. I got some other great titles at the other time. Um, Unrated, Central Intelligence. And that's the haul. So, like as always, I always go over the price at the end. 
And as you know, Blu-rays there at the pawn shop are three dollars, so we're just gonna count them out. Uh, I got ten here, so I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten here. Um, see here, see the prices. You got seven, two. Wait, seven. That's not two. That's six. So you got seven. Seven, six, uh, five, and eight. It's hard to, it, you know, read <laughs> backwards. But I paid three dollars. See, that's the prices when they get these a long time ago. Some of these probably been sitting there for a long time. Um, lot some of them will have uh, prices on them because they're newer. They just they don't need to price them. But I, I think if you were to go there by yourself, I mean, they want $10 for this. $10? Hell no. $3 is all I'll pay. So that's $30. And so we got $32. 30, remember, these are a dollar piece. So we got $32. $32. $34. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35. $35.